New details this morning in a Target 12 consumer investigation. Key concerns. Last night, we told you about an important warning for drivers regarding keyless ignitions found in millions of cars. We've learned this technology is being blamed for 13 deaths. This morning, what safety experts say, you need to know if you have a keyless fob to prevent potentially fatal mistakes. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Hogan has more. A class action lawsuit filed against 10 car manufacturers claims that keyless ignitions can be deadly and drivers need to be warned. We've been using metal keys to turn on and off our cars for years, but keyless fobs take that step out. As long as the fob is nearby, you just press a button and your car starts or shuts off. But Target 12 has learned of numerous complaints where drivers accidentally leave their cars running. And according to the lawsuit, that mistake turned fatal for 13 people who died from carbon monoxide poisoning after parking their cars in the garage and not realizing the engines were still running. But in today's world, the key fob plays no role whatsoever in shutting off a car. So what should you do if you have a keyless ignition? Safety experts say install a carbon monoxide detector in your garage and inside your home. Take a second look before exiting the car to make sure it's really off. Find out what, if any, safety feature your car has if your car is left running like an audible alarm. The class action lawsuit calls on manufacturers and the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration to install automatic shutoffs in cars with keyless ignitions. However, NHTSA has raised concerns about making that mandatory, saying there are scenarios such as leaving pets in the vehicle with the air conditioning or heating system on while the driver shops or is at a restaurant where an automatic shutoff of the propulsion system would have adverse results. The lawsuit, which was filed in August, was filed on behalf of all drivers with keyless ignitions. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.